Hello, welcome to Pikmin 4 The Demo. This is my first time playing a Pikmin game. I've never played them, so this will be all new to me. I've seen bits and pieces from other people playing, but not too much. So this will be all new and interesting to me. And uh, so come along and <laughs> watch as I probably struggle and I don't know what to do. And so let's get into the story. Interesting, there's a battle mode, but we're just going to do story. Oh, and there's my other file. I was playtesting a little bit before we will do new game. One player. I have heard that this demo is possibly a few hours. I'm not going to do everything in one go, so I'll break it up into pieces. And I think it does carry over. Okay. A spaceship called the SS Dolphin. This is the story of how I crashed onto an unknown planet, and how I was ultimately rescued. Okay. After the crash, I woke up to find my ship was in pieces, scattered everywhere. I had no way of returning home to my beloved family. I thought I was doomed. I'm like War of the Worlds type of thing, dude. <laughs> Till I encountered a strange species which I named Pikmin. Pikmin had an innate desire or will to carry objects. With their help, I was able to find and transport my missing ship parts. Time passed, and I met yet another mysterious creature. It appeared to be a malnourished, or to be malnourished, so I tossed over a treat. After that, we quickly bonded. She is a steadfast partner in the quest to find the missing pieces of my spaceship. The quest that was nearing its end. We arrived at the last area we had left to explore. What is this place? So I'm guessing this is the... Like I said, I don't know anything about Pikmin lore. Something, something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. Wait, where are you running off to? I probably should have played the other games, but... It's fine. That can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. Move yet? Yes, we can. Okay. CL is look ahead. 
Okay, so it's, it's kind of like Zelda controls, actually. I saw some of the Pikmin head this way. Oh, there's a message log, too. Like Tears of the Kingdom, interesting. <laughs> I like, if they're going to start doing this, this is really nice. Because it's too easy to miss dialogue. Yeah, that's a really welcoming feature. They could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. When we jump, I'll start charging up. So this is Tutorial City. Okay, gotcha. I just need to press X and down. What do you mean down? X and hold down. And take aim. Hold the same button. No! I think that's what they mean. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Easy peasy. Ha, I knew it. Now I'll use B down to call them back to me with my whistle. Okay, I get it. I get what they're trying to teach me. Easy. I just wish I knew why the Pikmin ran away and hid in the first place. See, if this is all like kind of like puzzly type stuff, I should, probably should have played these games a long time ago. Just saying. Just wish I knew why the Pikmin ran away and hid in the first place. Hmm, I better make a note of this in my voyage log. Oh! You never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now, how to phrase it? Okay. Strange Pikmin behavior. When I arrived at this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and call them back using my whistle. Okay. Interesting. I need to find my missing chip parts, but it would be much easier if I have more Pikmin to help me. So now they're going to give me a hug. Okay. Okay, I, I get it, I get it, okay. Interesting. Wait. Oh, you can... Before you leave, I did look. What are you talking about? Rude. Oh, I can see. I think the different color ones do different things, too. I've seen something about that. It's not that hard to start with here. I think I'm just finding them all right. <laughs> oh, this is like a boss creature. I don't see any ship parts. Could that thing have swallowed one whole? 
Those spiky things are going to make this tough. I have to find an opening. Oh, like they're showing me, okay. Maybe I should use X to build up energy so we can rush the creature when the time is right. In the meantime, let's circle it and wait for a chance to strike. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, I got you. Okay, so that's its health, apparently. Got it. Interesting mechanics, I will say. It's the interstellar radio we located it at last. With this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. Yeah, that, that's... <laughs> and I'm sure it's going to get more complicated. I like this. I've recovered the Interstellar Radio. So I immediately send out an SOS signal. I attach the latest version of my voyage log. Days and weeks pass, but one month later, one month later, <laughs> reach the rescue corpse. They took off toward this remote planet with noble plans to bring me home safe. Looks like a Futurama ship. Fortunately, fate had other issues. A rescue officer sent to rescue me crash landed during their arrival. Oh, we're gonna have to find them. Double short ranks are rare and extremely unlikely. At this point, you might think that all hope is lost. We're going to have to go find them, right? But there was one last rescue officer left at Rescue Corp headquarters. A rookie, you. That's right, you are my last hope. Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're our only hope. <laughs> All officer directed to evacuate the spin. Fighting the dispersed rescue corpse is now your top priority. Interesting. Create your ID badge and deploy immediately. Oh, we get to. Okay. Oh, I like the options they give here. That's not bad. Do that one. Oh, jeez. I don't like any of these. <laughs> How can I decline? Look at that one. Oh, there's more customizations. Thank you. <laughs> Is 
Yes. Just yes. No, yeah, let's go back. I like that one. That one's just good. The butt noise. Yes. Blue hair. No, let's do green like Zelda. Like the Zelda games. Do all green. I like blue though. Do blue. Three, yeah, that's fine. One planet crew. Who says? <laughs> the rescue corps news officer. They recently accepted a dangerous mission to rescue their missing colleagues. Not only my fate, but the fate of the rescue corps. Now we get to do with exploring. But I think we are gonna search for the missing rescue officers. Yeah, I think we're gonna actually stop it right there and we're gonna come back in the next episode. So I wanna thank everybody for watching and like, subscribe, and ring that bell, and we will see each other next time. Bye bye!